What's up boys, MKTV here, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. Today boys, we do have Chancel Mbemba, player of you for you lot. If you do enjoy, smash thumbs up, subscribe, without further ado, let's get straight So boys, what we have, his card is here, we're going to complete it first, see what it's like, uh, and then obviously try it out in game and stuff. It is going to require you an 84 rated squad, an 85 rated player or higher, and an 86 rated player or higher in the squad, you do need a league on player as well. Um, and yeah, we'll do the squad, see what he's like, and kind of just review it and stuff as well. I'll give you a solution if you do want to use it as well. So boys, this is the squad I'm going to be completing for it as well. There's a league on player in there as well and stuff. And again, lads, these are just players. You don't have to use this solution. They're the players as well if you do want to use them. We're going to submit that as well for uh, Chancel and Bemba and try this card out in-game. See what it is like. And um, we'll have a quick look at the stats and stuff as well, lads. Again, into things as well, he has two-star skill moves, three-star weak foot as well. He is six foot high, medium high work rate, which is decent for a centre-back. He is right-footed. Uh, his pace is decent, to be fair. 79 sprint speed, 76 acceleration. Really decent there. Short pass isn't too bad either. I like the short pass as well. Reactions well, decent. Dribbling and stuff as well, not too bad overall. Defending really, really decent as well. 84 rated. And physicals and strength and stuff as well are very decent as well. Yeah, he does have a giant throw in trade as well. So if you're looking to pop one in at the uh, 19th minute, lads, he is your man to go for. But yeah, we'll try the card on the game, see what it's like. So in terms of a chemistry style, lads, what I will be playing on this guy is going to be a shadow. It boosts the pace enough. Uh, it gets in the right areas of the defending as well. I just think it really helps the card massively uh, and gives it a plus 8, obviously, in pace, which I think is a little bit needed with 78 as well. Don't get me wrong, it's not terrible, but I do think he does need a little bit of a pace upgrade. Let's hop into some rivals matches, lads, see what this guy's like, and hopefully we'll see if he is worth it as well. Right, chance here with Koundé. Where's Mbemba? He isn't quite there, unfortunately. Not a great start to be fair, lads. Right, and Bemba on the ball here as well. What's this passing range like? On the right foot as well. That's a poor pass to be fair. Back again with him as well. Again, lads, I'm not expecting his pass to be really decent. Um, you know, his, his passing isn't great in all fairness. He's kind of a centre-back you want to get the ball. That's actually a really good pass though. Uh, but yeah, what I would say with the cards, you should be trying to just get this guy as just basically a centre-back. I wouldn't be passing around a lot with him. Yeah, I would just literally just as a centre-back. He's kind of like an Emmanuel Vidic. Uh, basically just, you know... Tackles into people, takes the ball off them, and just moves on with the play and stuff as well. Doesn't really, you know, leaves it to the players around them who are better in their positions. Um, but yeah, that's not a bad tackle there either. I do expect him to be really strong as well, by the way. With the 84 or 85 um, strength or whatever that is. But yeah, nearly in there as well, unlucky. Right, under pressure then as well. And Bemba, let's have a quick look at this. Pass out wide, great pass to you, very, really, really nice there. Right, here we go, and Bemba. Really nice tackle there as well. Again, as I expect him to be really strong in the tackle, that kind of thing as well. Um, that is one thing that I kind of do, is it kind of a given with him. Especially someone who's six foot, you know, 85 pace, whatever, I do expect that to be with him. That's a great tackle there as well. Gave the ball away cheaply, but definitely won it back uh, quite significantly as well. So not bad. And Ben by chance to get back here again. Great tackle again there. Nice one, man. Really, really solid. Chance here for Mbemba. Really good tackle again. He's made some nice tackles, to be fair. I'm liking the way he's tackling going into the ball. Really solid there as well. Chance here with Mbemba. Not bad there. Good stuff. That's all I expect him to do, lads. Get the ball, tackle it, and pass it off really quickly. That's what I expect with this guy. And he's been doing it well so far. Back inside here to Mbemba. Good stuff. Pass the ball off nicely as well. And I expect him to be able to do that. Just get rid of the ball. His passing is not insane. Let's not get it twisted. But if you can just get the ball, play it off, do his job, I'm more than happy with the card and stuff as well. So yeah. Could be a goal there. Good stuff as well from my keeper. Here we go. Mbemba again. Good dribbling there as well. Not bad, to be fair. Not bad from the man. Chance here to put pressure on Mbemba. Right. We're going to just take a run with him, lads, right? That's what we're exactly going to do. Plays a good ball through. That's exactly perfect. All I want him to do is literally that. I don't expect it to be crazy dribbling. Nothing like that. Can we get an attack from it as well? Can we? We can as well. Can we score? We can't, unfortunately. No. But hey, he did create that to a certain extent as well. He did. Good tackle there as well from... Oh, dear Lord. What is my defence at? I was poor from the defence, apart from Mbemba. He actually did play well there. Right, here we go. Mbemba again. Good ball out there as well. Lads, I've been, been impressed with his passing, to be fair. His passing has not been bad at all. It has not been bad at all. Right, chance here again for Mbemba. Good stuff, man. Again, at 6 foot, he's not the tallest either, so he will feel kind of agile. That's a really good ball out there as well, man. Chance here for Mbemba to get across. He does as well. That's brilliant defending. Really, really nice there. I like that a lot, man. Let's go. Right, we're on the attack here as well. So, lads, that's going to wrap things up for the review of Chancel and Bemba. The French links are something that I would say are very, very good. However, I'm not too sure Congo with links in the game is his strong point. Uh, that is one thing to consider with the card. If he was French, 
it is a different story. There's a amount, load amount of French cards that are really, really good. But yeah, look at the pace, though. The pace I found was very good with an actual shadow on it. The power on the shots as well and stuff didn't really test it out. Looks decent there. The passing was one thing I was surprised with. He's actually a very good passer of the ball, to be fair. Uh, that's something to note as well. Very, very decent there. Dribbling as well. He didn't feel clunky for me at all. Six foot as well is decent. Uh, and, you know, he's not too high, too tall to be very clunky. But yeah, he was decent there as well. Defending really nice tackles in there as well and stuff, man. Uh, jumping, obviously, really good as well. Strength, he felt very, very strong as well. Um, and yeah, really nice card, lads. Three-star weak foot as well. I got that wrong in the video. He does actually have a three-star weak foot, which is even better. Uh, and yeah, as a right-sided centre-back in the French League, very, very good option as well, lads. To be fair, coming in at around... Coming in around 20k, lads, I think this is a very good SPC for the price. To be fair, untradeable. The also, the other thing I would say as well, with the other Suarez card, if you complete the dynamic duos in both of them, he has a good link in the Marseille as well and stuff. He is a little bit difficult to link, um, but again, it's not the worst in the world. 20k roughly for this card, especially if you have players untradeable in the club. I think it is probably going to be worth it. I would give him a 7 out of 10 for the actual card, how it played in game. Um, I didn't really expect much of the card, to be fair. Uh, but yeah, no, it's not a bad card to be fair at all. Do you think there's better options? I do. The likes of Upa McCann or something as well. I know they're not in the same link or in the same league, but under 10k tradable as well. I do think some cards are better value. Um, for the value of the card, I probably would give it a 5 maybe. It's not bad value, but the overall card, especially if you can do it for fodder in the club, then it is a good option. But otherwise, I do think a 5 out of 10 for value is decent. Overall, I'd probably give the card a 6 out of 10. Uh, I do think it is a decent card, not a bad card. But I do think there is probably better options out there. But massive thank you for watching, lads. Hopefully you have enjoyed any more reviews as well you want. Leave them in the comment section down below. Massive thank you for watching. And I'll catch you boys next time with the next one. Peace.